Let's Queer Up the USA View, Laverne Cox at Stonewall National Museum exhibit for There Are Things to Do on May 7th. The Stonewall National Museum Archives and Library is celebrating the achievements of the Emmy Award-winning trans actress Laverne Cox as she becomes a part of the Standing on the Shoulders of Heroes exhibition. This exhibition from Fort Lauderdale's Stonewall National Museum connects the LGBTQ plus past to the present, honoring the courage of those who paved the way for us to live authentically, to live authentically and openly, and fostering hope and ongoing progress. The traveling exhibition arrives at the City College of New York alongside the May 7th screening of There Are Things to Do. The venue is set at CUNY School of Labor and Urban Studies, featuring uh, There Are Things to Do panel discussion with the filmmaker Mike Sires and esteemed LGBTQ plus activist and actress Laverne Cox. Filmmaker Mike Sires documentary There Are Things to Do about Indian-born American LGBTQ plus activist Urvashi Ved. After the screening, Sires will join the stage alongside the recipients of CCNY's first ever Colin Powell School for Civic and Global Leadership, Urvashi Ved Award for LGBTQ plus advocacy. Shan Chantal Rodriguez, a current student at CCNY and Blaise Lavaro, an alum of CCNY. The event will feature notable addresses from Robert Keston, the executive director of Stonewall National Museum and Archives, and Andrew Rich, the dean of CCNY's Colin Powell School, endowed by Richard J. Henley and Susan L. Davis. It's so great that, you know, she's getting honored for uh, all of her achievements. And, uh, you know, I remember seeing her uh, when I first was subscribing to Netflix and I, and I watched The Orange is the New Black and I thought, wow, this is such an amazing character and amazing actress mm. playing her. Yeah. And just to learn more about her through that just really made me very endearing to she was her. Very brave, her career. Really, very brave. Very brave. And that's, that's so part about being a trailblazer, you know, mm -hmm. it's just taking that first step in that door by yeah. yourself. Mm -hmm. And she's an incredible addition to this exhibition. You know, yes. Robert Keston is one of our anchors yes. here at Queer News Tonight. He always sits right where Jacqueline is sitting. Yes. And right there at that table, he, at that chair, he was telling us how excited he was about this, exib uh, this exhibit because it was traveling around the country. Yeah. You know, it started here and he added uh, Diana Nyad to the yes. exhibition, you know, mm -hmm. um, on the shoulders that we stand on. And, um, you know, now he's added Laverne Cox, which is just an incredible addition, you know. Uh, Laverne Cox has a twin brother, you know. She always yes. talks about mm -hmm. about yes. their upbringing, their journey, their, you know, her trans experience, her her lived experience, you know. Um, I, 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 I don't love her on the red carpet at the Oscars. Don't kill me. I, I actually did. Don't kill me. I actually okay? did. But I love her and everything else that she does, you no. know? And I think she's a wonderful addition. Yes, yeah, she's branching out, which is great. It's giving visibility to the trans mm -hmm. community and, you know, showing that they can do many different things. And she's an activist. She's brave, like you said. And she's doing it all right in my book. And looking hot as hell. And looking yeah. amazing. <laughs> she's looking great and she's yeah. doing it right. And I actually like her, you know, her interviews on the red carpet. Maybe you're better than her. I'm you sure, said it, I'm not sure. me. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure you are, oh, no. <laughs> and I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt sense. it. Yeah. <laughs> but but she actually did a good job. Actually, I was very impressed for the first time. I mean, she's doing it for the first time. I don't think she's done it yeah. before. So it's actually pretty good. I thought it was very good. What do you think about something like this? You know, just saying that you know this uh, this exhibit is traveling all around the country. Pride Month is just about to be here. You know, I mean, he's literally walking. He's traveling the country with a piece of of the stone wall, also uh, the stone wall bar. Mm. in New York City, you know, and that's all going to come full circle when he's going to come back to South Florida in a couple months. How important is something like this during an election year? Wow. You know, it really is incredibly poignant. It, it, it draws attention to the things that we all really care about, right? Because mm. it shows, it reminds us where we were, mm. how much progress we've made, and yet somehow we always feel like we're still under attack because we are. But it does remind us that progress can be made. Mm -hmm. It's a slog, but we can make it. Mm -hmm. I love that. 
And people don't necessarily know about Stonewall. I, you know, it was a big thing for me when I first came out to go to New York and see it mm. and just experience it. When I mention it to sometimes younger people, they don't have any awareness of it. So anytime we can create awareness, it is important. We gotta right? we gotta turn it into the into the gay wailing wall. Oh, right. There's put a little a, prayer yeah. on a slip of paper. <laughs> you put it Flip in, it in between the bricks, good. right? Uh huh. Ah, that's, like, ah, I know where you got that from. Uh, right. uh -huh. Love it. That's good. <laughs> but but a great idea though. Well, I'm just saying. Thank you.